In Conversation, BFM 89.9, The Business Station. Good evening, I'm Caroline O. Together with Group Editorial Advisor of the Malay Mail, Bernama TV, and the Malaysian Reserve, that's coming easier to me now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Andrew Din Hatan, also known as Rocky Drew. Now, um, okay, um, let's look at some career highlights here, Rocky. You've listed for me being appointed the London correspondent for NSTP 1982, where you worked for a year as one of the biggest career achievements. How did that, that one come about? Uh, it's uh, in 92. Mm. Um, the Straits Times, the New Straits Times used to have uh, offices uh, in London, mm. and then it opened one in New York and uh, one in Jakarta. Mm. After 98, it closed all three offices. Okay, so in, nine, in every year, they send somebody uh, to London. There was, there was a... a Club position. Yes, yeah. every, every young journalist wanted to be there. And uh, I was with Business Times. Nobody had been sent from Business Times. So mm -hmm. when we decided to pick someone from Business Times, I was the first one. And I had never been to London at, at that time. So mm -hmm. it was quite fun. Yeah. So tell me what you learned then. Um, I learned how to enjoy myself while work. Well, you know, you, there was an office mm -hmm. in London. It was an apartment. Mm -hmm. There was no boss. Mm -hmm. There was no editors, you know, so you are all by yourself. You know? Were you single at the time? Yes. Oh, the bachelor's and, life. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you learn how to uh, get your own stories, you learn, you learn how to decide. You are the editor, you are the sub-editor, and you are the reporters, you do. It's a, it's a great, great on-the-job training and uh, you learn about uh, other people's culture and mm -hmm. uh, like this London. Yeah. How did you decide then at that point what was newsworthy and what wasn't? It came uh, uh, at that point of time is um, you are in London, there are Malaysians there, mm. there are Malaysians who go there, and um, so so you try to the first the first thing you get is uh, news that affect Malaysians. Mm. There are a lot of students. I think there were uh, scores of thousands of students, mm. Malaysian students there. They are a source of news too. Mm. And, all right, so um, why you had to come back after a year was... Oh, yes. Yeah, mm. That must have been very disappointing for you. Um, yeah, and then after that I was aiming for uh, the position in New York, but it never came to me. Why not? Uh, I think the guy who went there uh, managed to find excuses to extend his stay and he ended up staying there for four years. Uh, you can't blame him though. I mean, if it were you, I'm hope, sure you would be able to I find hope him. He's I hope he's listening in. He, he must be. <laughs> and I'm sure he's very sorry not for what he's done to you. So tell me, personally, Rocky, uh, these days, what do you like writing about the most? What do you enjoy? I enjoy writing. I still enjoy writing my blog. Mm. I think it gives me, uh, like I said just now, it gives me greater freedom. Uh, to express myself, I am inside. I am, I am involved in the news. Mm -hmm. Unlike when I write for uh, newspapers, mm -hmm. I am supposed to exclude myself. Right. right. So it's more fun that way, and um, I do a lot of social, political pieces, you know. But I do go back uh, very often to business writing, mm -hmm. and uh, once in a while write about friends, old friends, and. Uh, and uh, things of the past, mm -hmm. yeah. So when you, you talk about loving writing, right? Do you ever think of things like books? Cause, yes, yeah, writing. Book. I think it's a natural process. I think every journalist should uh, at least try and write a book. Uh, even you, Caroline, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, yeah, in, the, in this line. Right. You know, you sh they are... It'll be meet, a very thin book. I no, 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 you meet, a lot, you meet a lot of people every day. You talk, you talk to people like me, mm -hmm. you know, and every, every, uh, every one of your subjects could be could take up a page of your book, That's your bookseller, okay. your, your bestseller. Yeah? Okay. Uh, but I think every journalist should be writing a book, and I yes, I want to write a book. What would you write about? I write boring stuff like blogging, you know, uh, how, what, how to how to not get yourself into trouble writing, <laughs> how, how to, to avoid how to avoid uh, one billion ringgit um, lawsuits. <laughs> And things like that. Yeah, that would be very useful advice. <laughs> Every journalist should get a copy. Yeah. So is that is that you know somewhere in the future? Do you you know do you really see yourself writing a book? Perhaps. Yes. Uh, I was I was working on a, a biography on Tun Sali Abbas uh, a while ago, mm. but that didn't work out because uh, you know I I realized that when you when you're writing about or you 
attempting to write about someone's life, mm -hmm. uh, that person's life could be could change so much in such a short period. And at the time that I was writing on, I was attempting to write on Tun Saleh Abbas, the former Chief of Justice, the one who got sacked. Uh, a lot of things were developing around him and uh, I just gave up on that subject. Well, but it would have made for a very interesting book. I have uh, a lot of materials which I intend to use mm -hmm. later on. Uh, I hope uh, the publishers would not uh, mind. Yeah, well, I'm certainly looking forward to that. Okay, I'm going to go into another one of your songs for us this evening. And this one is uh, Hey You by Pink Floyd. Uh, what does this song mean to you? Uh, this is... Um, this is a period of, this is the post Beatles period. Mm -hmm. uh, Pink Floyd has always uh, come up with great numbers. Uh, friends were listening to Led Zeppelin. I wanted to be different. Mm -hmm. So it was Pink Floyd. Okay. Um, any questions for Rocky, you can send them in 0162019000 or tweet us at BFM Radio. BFM 89.9.